Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Wow. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, jeez. What is going on, geeks? United Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Firewatch. I think this is episode four. Yeah. We're patching um, up the old tower. What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. <laughs> musk. Uh <-huh. laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Oh. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. This was the start oh of PC. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos <laughs> as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. Very it chic. Is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. <laughs> now She's tell fun. me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Handsome. Uh, All kinds of handsome. I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back and I slipped and ate a parking meal. Oh, oh what a good story. Ish. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Drawing? You what? Is, is that okay? My uh, wife used to draw me. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank there you, Henry. Go. And one more you board kicking around. Need? Absolutely. Should be one more board kicking around. Maybe not. Maybe I'm done up there. There it is. We'll get all patched up and get this window fixed. Handyman. Regular Bob Vila. Now that's an 80s reference all the way. That dude hasn't even been on TV for a long ass time. Guys, I'm stoked. This is the first part of the game that wasn't part of the preview build, the demo. And we're getting into it. Um, nothing so far has been a surprise for me. Because I did play this one. Some of the dialogue choices I made have been different. But I got from the here window on out... All patched up. So it's all brand what new. should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. What? Oh, It's yeah. pretty boring. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Mentally prepared? I guess we could just explore. Honestly, photo. With Julia, this is our wife. Those are happy eyes. I think I did a pretty good job. Whiskey, back here. I'll take it. Save for later. You never know when you're going to need that. Firefinder, glass. None of this is useful. All right, well, let's give her a call. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to freaking work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. No. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. This is day nine. Wow, time flies. Hello, Henry. 
Henry. Nice. Having a nice afternoon? Hell yes. Well, I was. <laughs> Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Hmm. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Wow. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, jeez. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Let's be the honest man here. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What do you think I was doing, girl? Day 15. We're flying through them, guys. This is summer, so you expect, what, maybe three, four months? Henry. 90 to 100 Henry, plus days. Up. Henry, wake yourself up, fool. Get up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yeah, I got it. Lights on. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Julia? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Hmm. Well, that's good. Didn't sound like it. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Day 33 time is flying. We've been here a month. I'm waiting for the next big plot twist to come up. Here we are. 1.4 miles from the supply drop and Delilah's lookout. Hike north. Is it too much of a supplies. pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Huh. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There we there go. Be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Yuck. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Hmm. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> She's not the only one. Wheelbarrows full of marijuana. So, <laughs> like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. That is a big detour. I can't go this way. I am. Good. Hey. I'm glad. Oh, I've been here. Shoot. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Wow. Oh. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, 
and for some Gillette. reason I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I hmm. came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Wow. So I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. That we is both fucked up. what I was hoping for from this game. You know, we're walking closer to Delilah's Tower than we've ever been, and probably getting to know each other better than we ever have. Um, I think her tower is up this way. During the, my playthrough of the preview build, I came across this sort of gondola that spanned this canyon, and it headed towards her tower, if I remember. You know what? Maybe that's up there. 4.7 miles. You know what? We'll just head for the supply drop. Which is a big green box. There it is! I remember this. And try not to clear the whole place out. One, two, three, four. Two forks. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Do I close this thing? There we go. Didn't put the lock back on, but who cares? Um, All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Two months deep. I'm wondering when, wow. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. What? And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So... No ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? <laughs> you really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> Alright, guys. We have flown through so a lot. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um... A lot you know, of days my thing to do in is... this episode. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Ooh, like Irish whiskey. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Wow. You would like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at all that maybe. stuff. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Nice to have company, too. Me, too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Wow, Delilah getting lonely. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. We got these radios. We could, um... You know. Oh. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. 
Is she messing with me again? Geeks, it's day 76. I'm going to take a break here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Firewatch. I'll be back with another one tomorrow, and I'm loving the story. I'm loving getting into this new part of the game that I never experienced in the preview. Really getting to know Delilah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Wow. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us. Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.